Good day everyone, I am Darlene B. Aguirre from Bitalive 2A. So for this video, I have a video presentation about my favorite food. So let's start. So my favorite food is laing. This is my favorite dish ever. So this is the example of pictures of what is laing. So, I have this, the um, guide questions and the answer. So, the first question is, what, why did I pick this dish as my favorite? So, I chose this because it is the special dish of my grandmother. She cooks it whenever there is an occasion at home. So, what is the flavor of laing? So, laing is a Filipino dish of whole taro leaves or gabi with meat or seafood cooked in thick coconut milk spice with labuyo, chili, garlic, onion, ginger, and shrimp paste. Next, the demographics of laing or how to cook it. Cooked it. Step 1. Prepare gata by combining nor ginataang gulay recipe mixed with 5 cups water. Stir until the powder completely dilutes. Step 2. Um, arrange pork, garlic, onion, and ginger in a pot. Pour 3 one and a half cups geta. Put on a stove top and apply heat continue to cook for 10 minutes after the liquid boils. Step 3. Add dried taro leaves, cover the pot, and continue to cook until the liquid is almost cut. Step 4. Add chili peppers and then pour remaining coconut milk. Stir and continue to cook until the liquid completely evaporates. And the, for the last step is transfer to a serving plate. Serve this with rice. And for the other aspects of food such as cost, convenience, and nutrition. So the laing is not expensive to cook especially if you ha if you are in the province because there are so many of these in the province that you can just get and if you have a, your own coconut tree. Laing is rich in several important micronutrients such as vitamin C, vitamin A, folate, and calcium as well as disease fighting antioxidant their high fiber and low calorie content make them an excellent food for boosting heart health and promoting overall well-being and for the culture and religion of lying it is originated from a bicol re region where it is known simply as pinangat so the health benefit of Lying is the first one reduces your cholesterol level. Next, aids in weight loss. Third, help control blood pressure. Fourth, help the development of the fatal brain and nervous system. And the fifth is help prevent anemia. And for the last one is help reduce wrinkly skin. So that is the um that um isa lang yun sa mga example ng mga health benefits na makukuha natin sa pagkain ng laing or sa pagkain ng isang taro leaves so example lang yun and mas marami kang mga benefits na maaari nating makuha sa taro leaves na hindi pa naka-indicate so, for the next question or guide question, social and emotional influences. So, social determinants such as culture, family, peers, and meals patterns, psychological determinants such as mood, stress, and guilt, attitudes, beliefs, and knowledge about food. For the food industry and the media, lying is a typical Bicolano cuisine, which is known for their common use of chilies and coconut when it comes to food production industry. Social media can be either a help or hindrance. It's a great way to cons customers to share their satisfaction with your product and can help you build brand awareness. 
At the same time, social media also can damage your brand's reputation if complaints, criticism are not handled quickly or improperly. And for the last key question is the environmental concerns. Um, lying is um, water and air pollution lost wildlife and of natural habitats all results from food production. With increasing production also comes increasing land use. And for the last one is the climate change. That's my favorite food. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.